This headset is absolutely crazy. Now I'm an extremely professional Gorilla Tag player that plays on PC VR only. And I'm currently running on the glorious Valve Index. That should be amazing, right? <laughs> But it just got a whole lot better. I always love the base stations, but the self-tracking is absolutely amazing. DPVR sent me out one of their headsets, the DPVR E4. A side note to keep, uh, they're gonna work on the software and hardware throughout the entire thing. This is the DPVR E4. This is the headset that combines everything good from the Quest 2 and puts it over to one of the headsets, and today we're gonna be getting to try one of them. To see if it's better, worse, or just the same for Gorilla Tag. So let's get on with the DPVR E4. This PC VR headset is a lighter, sleeker, more futuristic version of the Quest 2 and even the Quest 3. I mean, look at this. It looks crazy. After they send me out the headset, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys so you guys will know if this headset is right for you. This headset looks super comfortable out of the box. As you can see, it comes with an amazing head strap in the back. That was my main issue I had with the Quest 2. Like my head would constantly hurt. This it comes with a head strap that won't even hurt your head. Not too much bad with it from what I've already seen. In the background is me unboxing it if you were curious. This headset even fixes major issues I have with my valve index. Now, as you can see, the valve index only goes up a little bit. This one goes up 90 degrees, allowing me to see my PC clearly, and I can keep it on my head. Going back and forth from VR to computer is really, really difficult on the index because I have to take it off each time. But with this headset, I really don't have to. So I am going to be trying this headset on games like Pavlov or Blade Sorcery so I can take a toll on the headset and see if it even lags or does latency. One of the major pros to this headset is it doesn't use base stations. It uses the same thing as the Quest 2, allowing me to not use base stations at all. Look at these stinky base stations. I just set them all up around my room, even drilling holes in my wall. This, it's as simple as a Quest 2. I set it up and I'm done. But since this has tracking, I can just basically use it whenever. There's four ports on this headset like the Quest 2 that allows me to do tracking. This headset came with a lot. It came with earbuds, lens covers, and everything. They really send you a whole package for what it's worth. The Quest 2, they barely even think about giving you a charger. Now, what really makes that headset so great? It is 120 hertz, and it has a bigger FOV than the Quest 2 and the Quest 3, having 116 FOV. The Quest 3 only has, I think, 110. Look at this view, too. Bruh. The Quest lags a lot, and you will see this playing more hardcore games, even Blade Sorcery Nomad. You would download one mod, and the Quest 2 will go like... It's extremely, extremely easy to plug in and use, and even has this locking mechanism allowing me to basically lock the HDMI so I don't pull it out. You're swinging your arms like a maniac, and basically your cable won't come out. I know, I know, I've been yapping for way too long, but let's get into testing this headset. They like to advertise how smooth it is, and I feel the smoothness as soon as I hop into the headset. It's SteamVR supported with every single game. Off the bat, I can see a bunch of improvement. Now, you're shaking my hand like this? Oh my god, the tracking is insane. Quest 2 has nothing on this tracking. One test I do have to do. Oh, it's almost behind my back, and the tracking still works. Oh! The FOV on this headset is more than I can even see. Bruh. How does it feel playing the game? Clicking my things right now, it is so solid and so easy to move. I feel like I'll get no stick drift. It looks absolutely beautiful in the game, too. You even have an FPS counter right here. I wish you dropped around 50 playing Gorilla Tag, so let's see what happens. Let's see this. Oh my god. Okay, so tracking is honestly really decent compared to any other thing before. Whoa. This looks really clean and clear. Whoa. Bruh. Let's see what I can do with this. Oh my god. Oh. As you can see, the headset makes me play a little bit decent. Now, on the Quest 2, I was extremely bad. This headset is almost the same, but not as much. So you see, the FPS counter right here is not dropping as much as it would in Quest. One issue I am having with this headset is the lenses. Kind of oval, and they get everything look big and small randomly. I'm not saying the headset's for everyone, but I would use this over the Quest 2 due to how light it is. Does my mic sound good? Thank you, thank you. As you can see, that headset has a great, amazing mic. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but we're gonna go down. See, but those are basically tiny, and once I get closer, they get really big. One thing I'm starting to get used to about this headset is when things are farther away, it's smaller. But when things are closer... Whoa, why does it look like real-ish? When I say farm from the corner, it's kind of big, but really small. Whoa. Whoa. Bruh. Look at the graphics alone. The graphics are literally the PC quality that I see in my index, which is really strange to see in a uh, headset like this. But every time I pass this, this gets small, and when I get closer, it's a lot bigger. Really cool perspective thing they see on the headset. Let's go into some more gameplay. I want to see how caves work. Honestly, these controllers are super light. I feel like I'm not even, you know, grabbing on What under. the hell? What are some pros and what are some cons, now that I've played with it a little bit? As you're getting used to it, the lightweight is really one of the benefits. The clear visuals and the no stuttering or lagging with the FPS drop being at nothing is amazing. Tracking's amazing, yes, but you can't put it behind your head, but you can't put it behind your back. Still better with the Quest 2 being able to put it down by your sides. Bike is right by your mouth, so you're extremely loud. This is more of a in-between thing. Because this is me whispering. 
The lenses aren't really meant for cartoon games or Gorilla Tag. While it's good in Gorilla Tag, you can see them get closer and stuff gets bigger when it's closer and even sometimes farther. So You'll see later that it was amazing oh, how oh, it's right there. Honestly, okay. is better for realistic games. Not even realistic, more just like full body games. This is Whoa. Honestly, for my index, everything looks a lot larger. This is almost realistic size, which is not good, but not bad. Bruh. I feel like I have to take two leaps to make it to the top. These bars look twice my size. Which is actually kind of cool, actually. Never mind, this actually it's not bad. Whoa, wait. God, the ropes are like immediate. Oh, the waterfall looks so realistic. It looks like a realistic height. Whoa. Oh my god, the tracking, I can look away and still run like I'm on not even. Do keep in mind some of the bad features are getting updated and every the software is getting updated day by day. Hey lava monkey, hey lava monkey, come here. Oh my god, he gets larger! Oh my god, I forgot about that! I forgot he gets larger every time he moves. Oh no. Oh, ah! oh my god, that's scary! That's terrifying! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this guy over here, dude, it is so clear compared to the quest. I'm not lagging at all. Oh my god, it's... So easy! Oh my god! Oh, the perspective thing is actually, I'm getting used to it. Hold on. Come on. Don't. Oh! Ah, no! And are you good? Hello? Hello? Um. I think he just. I can't. Expecting everything about the case and how they move. I started to realize it's not as bright as the index. I started to realize it's not as bright as the index. I just feel more textured and more. Definitely a lot more textured than the quest, too. Met the bat, I don't lose them. Met the bat, dead. <laughs> Controls are literally so light, so if you play Beat Saber, it's perfect. I feel like I can build them in air that break like Lego brick. As I'm running around the game of Gorilla Tech, none of my headset does not hurt me at all, and this was a common issue with the Quest 2 and even the Index a little bit. Even when far away, the people are not completely small, they get extremely big on the outside. Easy. Wait, I want access. You're not, you're bad? Yours are bad? Mine are always 120. Mine are always 120 hertz. Bruh. This lens is really, really trippy. I don't know if that's how I have it set, but it really is getting bigger on some sides and smaller on the others. So it's like, it's almost like normal vision, but not. It's like taking my peripherals and just enlarging these sides. So it would look somewhat like this, which I mean would be similar to real life if uh, we didn't have blurred out vision on the side. Everybody, Riz, Ohio, what the dog doing, level 5, Giat, Duke Dennis, rising up, Lenny, Levy, done, doing, what do you want, what do you want? Oh my god. <laughs> you lost, you lost, but I am. Dude, I can run like this without me scattering at all. Okay, let's see what I can do. Wait, what? Whoa, wait. What happened again? Wait, what? Oh, wait, someone else left. Someone's walking. One of the key features of the game is swimming and rope climbing. Oh my god, and it feels so smooth while doing that too. Oh my god, no tracking loss. I didn't thought this was a tracking loss because that was my main issue on the Quest 2, along with the FPS strap. If I'm being honest, I would put this headset above the Quest 2 and a little bit below the Quest 3 due to the not sandal and feature. Still up 60 frames to some that's comparing with the Quest 2. It does say it's running at 50 frames, but this is running perfectly smooth and honestly it looks a lot clearer than the Quest 2. Let's go try this on some TTT. Also feels really smooth as the Quest 2, and honestly, I see no difference except it's super light and it feels like I'm just moving my hands myself. Headset at all has not hurt me within this hour, almost two hours of gameplay, and honestly, it doesn't die. So that is another perfect reason that this is a competitor and a little bit better than Quest 2. Dance, dance, dance. Hey, 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 hey! I'm the only person allowed to pull out guns. Hey, hey, no. Oh my god! I'm three apple style. You got a problem with it? Drop your weapon to screw you! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I fucking drop our weapons twice, you piece of shit! It's saying 50 FPS, but I'm running extremely smooth. Okay. 
Honestly, this headset on Pavlov feels extremely insane because the... The stuff I was talking about before is honestly fixed because it looks super realistic in games like these. Guru Attack really isn't the game for this headset, but any other game really is. Oh my god, dude, I feel like I can move my fingers in real life. Well, I pull the pin on this. What happens if I pull the pin on this grenade? Oh, I'm innocent. Let's get on to a different game because I, I feel like Guerrilla Tech really was was the main focus of it. Honestly, playing Pavlov really saved the headset because playing Guerrilla Tech really didn't help. And honestly, after playing this, I really think that's super worth it for playing PC VR anything but Guerrilla Tag. Dude, this looks insane. I look like it's real. This is like so much better than the freaking. <laughs> this is so much better than the Quest 2. Oh my god. I'm not even lagging and saying I'm at low FPS. With everything put into play, this headset is a decent solid headset if you want to buy, you want something that's competing with the Quest 3 or Quest 2. In terms of functionality, I would put this a little bit below the Quest 3, but above the Quest 2 by a lot. In conclusion, it's a solid PC VR headset, and honestly, if you want something for the price of the Quest 3, I would go with this. Stop looking at me.